I'm Jeremy Graham, Managing Director of Cairn Research, and I'm going to talk to you today about a photometry system for our, our standard photometry system for intracellular calcium measurements and other recordings. So this is an overview of the system. So starting in order of where the photons come from, they're generated by a high intensity xenon arc lamp. In this instance, the 75 watt opto source to give us the combination of intensity and stability that we want for looking at sensitive optical measurements. The light source is focused into a monochromatic device, the, the Cairn Opto Scan, which generates very specific bandwidths and wavelengths of light with millisecond time resolution and switches very rapidly between them, which is exactly what you want for these kinds of measurements. The photons from the Opto Scan are fed into the back of a research microscope in this case an inverted microscope, Nikon TI. The photons are focused onto the back of the objective, reflected up by a dichroic mirror. Short wavelength of light passes to the sample, long wavelength fluorescence passes back through the objective to the side port of the microscope. Unlike imaging where you have spatial information, with a photometry system you are just recording a single, a single spatial point and instead you're interested in sort of time resolution and very sensitive small changes. So we need to determine where we're recording from. So we have a variable rectangular aperture on the output of the microscope, and all we do is literally delimit the area that we're recording from. In order so that we know, that we know where the photomultiplier precisely is recording from, we use red illumination, in this case the the Cairn or a phase illuminator, but it could be a red filter in the standard bright field pillar. And the red light passes through to the camera and the green yellow fluorescence or blue fluorescent light is reflected back to the photomultiplier. The signals from the photomultiplier are fed into the amplifier, which is controlled by the microprocessor controller built into the rack. This primary amplifier processes the signals. Because the signals are likely to comprise of multiple excitation wavelengths, these are demultiplexed using a secondary amplifier and the output um, BNC connectors of this amplifier can then be fed into the data acquisition system of your choice. In this instance, we're using a National Instruments card with a, with a, a breakout that we've built ourselves and feeding it into a WinEDR open source software written by John Dempster and Strathclyde. Uh, you could equally well use PClamp or Hika software or any other software that's capable of digitising analogue signals. 